Hello Forex Vault members, um, we're going to start this very exciting webinar. Um, today we have with us Augusto Hernandez, um, he's a new speaker with us. Uh, he's going to be talking about uh, the Ichimoku trading method. Um, so we hope you enjoy this uh, webinar and make the best out of it. Uh, hello. Augusto, how are you doing? Hello, Camilo. How are you? Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming here today uh, to this webinar about Ishimoku. So, um, as I, Camilo told you, my name is Augusto Hernandez. Uh, I have been doing working uh, with the trading since uh, uh, 2010, 2011, when I started to be interested on in it, doing uh, a master on MBA that I was doing. And I started working formally um, in 2000, uh, 2012. Okay, I was a product manager in a startup that develops a uh, trading software that is basically more in uh, technical analysis, macroeconomy, quantitative analysis, and uh, during this quantitative analysis we were actually using uh, the, this uh, Ishimoku tool. Uh, so uh, before to, to begin the, the webinar, I would like to kind of share my experience because I always like to, 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 to settle the base about uh, make the difference uh, when people is starting to learn because it's what I it's the, the, the process that I pass it when I start because I found myself in looking what how to how I was interested in trading what to do so there are many today there are many information there are many com uh, marketing campaigns that tell you what to do what not to do uh, the the thing is that uh, we need to to, to be aware of it, there is a trading world. It's not like uh, you are going to be rich uh, without a minimum of effort. This is really important to understand. Uh, more than that, that we particular traders, uh, we are, we don't decide where the market direction goes. It's actually the the professionals, the professionals, the banks, uh, big companies. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, with all these tools uh, that I see in the, our hands is to, 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 to try to, to follow what the professionals do, okay? I, I want to let that, uh, that clear always because um, this, is, this is really important. Uh, it's really important. So um, why, uh, why I, I, I decide or we decide with Ichimoku? As you can see, while you were studying technical analysis, that is the way the, the uh, at the beginning, is to, to, to approach the market because already to analyze the price, which is discounted any news. Uh, um, you can see there are several tools that um, uh, exist in technical analysis. Uh, I have seen people, or when at the, the beginning, you have Matty RSI, you have many, many indicators, and I have seen people that uh, push a lot of indicator on several sh stuff in the shots that. Um, to, to, to have a better kind of better decision but what I have seen from from my experience and experience with uh, with professional traders and clients is that uh, believe me too much information kill the information so <clears throat> while doing I found Ichimoku uh, actually I found Ichimoku a great tool uh, because it's, it's a toolkit by itself. It tells you a lot of things in just one simple chart. Uh, it might look difficult at the beginning when you don't understand, but it's quite easy and quite accurate. Uh, more than that for forex uh, forex trading. Okay. So what I would like to 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 do today is um, um, is to present you. Uh, we are going to to start the study of Ichimoku. Uh, presenting you uh, how it's constructed, which is the meaning of each line of each uh, indicator, and how to analyze each of it. Okay, like this, you have a better understanding of uh, of what what line is uh, each uh, each line. Okay, so let's start at the beginning with. Uh, a little bit of history about Ishimoku in order to make you understand uh, what it comes uh, and so on. This uh, indicator was elaborated by Goishi Osoda, 
this was a journalist, uh, Japanese, specializing in financial markets. And this, this uh, person, he was not satisfied with, uh, with the, the reading of the candle, just the candlesticks, okay? So uh, just to ask, everybody knows what is a candlestick, I guess everybody knows. Uh, could, could you tell me in the chat question to keep going on of you, you need to clarify something of uh, any term regarding candlesticks or something like that or everything is good regarding this term okay perfect so um, so he was uh, not satisfied with just with analysis of candle of, uh, of candlesticks so in 1935 um, he he start to, to uh, 1930 he started to study the price action with the help of some mathematicians students uh, to see how this uh, in a mathematical way uh, how to develop a kind of indicator a kind of study that gives a better information of what the market price is is doing okay this uh, this beginning uh, he started with uh, the first evolution of this study uh, is in 1935 where he published uh, what would be um, a scheme of a technique uh, under the name of it was his first job that is Ichimoku Sanjin here is the indicator that we know uh, but will be composed just for uh, of candlesticks and just one line that is calling the Tenkan Sen or conversion line. We will see further what is this line. So um, during this period, he, he just had time uh, to, to, to publish that because uh, it was the breakout of the World War II. So he suspended uh, these uh, studies, his test about the uh, price analysis uh, during 20 years. Okay? After his, this 20 years, uh, he, uh, or more than that, and he continued to, to, to study. He, in 1968, he published Ishimoku Kinkoyo, okay? that is the indicator as we know it today. Okay, its name, uh, as is indicated here, uh, indicates that this kind of, of uh, graphic or representation, uh, equilibrium graphic representation at a glance. So that means that with just uh, a look, you can determine the balance or the equilibrium that it exists in a chart. This is basically the the the, the meaning of uh, this uh, Ishimoku Kinkoyo. Okay, so um, this good uh, after the death of uh, Goishi on, on in uh, 1982, this book is forgotten. Till in 19, 1996, uh, Idebu Sasaki uh, he published uh, a, a book uh, that is called Ishimoku Kinko Studies. So this book is uh, what is the present of what today we know about Ishimoku. So the, this book was chosen the best book of technical analysis by the Nikkei, Nikkei newspaper for nine consecutive years. After this, after this, the indicator is spread in the Japanese trading rooms uh, in the States uh, through subsidiaries of American banks in Japan. So uh, this is a, the short history of Ishimoku. So now that we know a little bit of history, let's see what is the description of uh, each of uh, its lines and, um, and how it's constructed, okay? So Ichimoku is um, composed of uh, basically five lines, okay? These five lines are, um, there are two that are synchronous, of, that means that are at the same time with the price two lines that are uh, projected, uh, that analyze the past market and is projected in the future, and one that represents the market memory, okay? So this is what we see here. The, fir the, the first two that are synchronous as are the one, the red, the red and the green here, that are the um, Kinju Sen, this is the green one, and the red one that is the Tenga, okay? The one that analyzes the past and is projected the future that will, is going to represent the, the, the support and resistance on and the, and the future is going to what is uh, composed, what is called the cloud. That is the central span A, or what I will call it uh, in the future SSA, 
or span or span A, and the other one is the same thing span B or S is B. And the last one that is I, I was telling you that was the me market memory is what is, is the blood line that is the lagging span. Okay, that basically uh, I will go into the explanation explanation in the future, but is the price the closing price projected in the past, and this is what is called the memory the memory market memory. The original setting of uh, this uh, indicator uh, is uh, 92652 uh, because it's basic in the Japanese trading sessions that uh, that are first uh, there are nine that is one and a half week of the stock market session Japanese stock market session uh, 26 is the number of sessions in Japanese month. Um, 52 is the double of the 26. Okay. Uh, some study this um, analysis was developed normally in a daily daily current price, and uh, but is as good and as accurate in any other time frame. I mean, you can use it from one minute to weekly to monthly, and we will use it actually as an example in the, in the future. Okay. Um, for those who some people sometimes have, they have a study to see is to change this settling like to to the Western world, a world that to 721 and 42, but apparently the, this is not accurate at all, and the the, the indicator it doesn't work properly. Okay, so remind in mind uh, if you see this uh, indicator, I advise you um, as I have learned. Don't change the settings because it's not not going. It's not. They are not. It's not. It's not going to give you um, uh, good uh, answers uh, to say in a way. Okay. So uh, after this uh, fast review of uh, the composition of Ichimoku, let's see how the is constructed the um, each line. And we are going to start with the first one that is the shortest term. Uh, uh, line that is called uh, the Tenkan Sen or turning line. Okay, so it's a uh, quite easy its construction. Basically, what are we are going to do? We take uh, imagine imagine that this is our current price. Okay, so we count nine periods in the in the past. Okay, that this is uh, this segment red the red segment here and here, and then from this between these two segments, we are going to Determine the the highest high and the lowest low within this period. Okay. Once we do that, actually we do a, a midpoint. That is, uh, we we add the, the 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 distance of this and we divide by two. And this is what is giving us the tenkan sen. So in this example, yeah, as I am here in this example, what I am doing, I take this this period over here. I took the distance between here and is the half and is what is given here. Okay, so um, this quite simple. This is the first line. Remember, is the shortest one. Is night periods. Uh, it these lines indicates the momentum of the movement of or or the price and his its function is to alert of price evolution. Uh, basically, once you are in position, uh, you can see is the the trend is slowing that the movement is slowing down or is accelerating. Okay, uh, sometimes it gives you the cross of the price of this line. Sometimes give you some potential short term, uh, short trade, uh, short term trade. Okay, we will see an example at the end of the this theoretical part. Uh, I don't. Uh, if you have any question, I remind you. Don't hesitate. You have the the, the chat window. And I will answer while I keep going forward. So I hope that everything is clear so far. Okay. So this line, because um, um, it's a short term and uh, um, it's flatter than a moving average. Okay. And this is uh, when it's flat is because it's a synonymous of absence or uh, up. Pause on the current tendency. Okay, the, as I told you before, the degrees of inclination give you the an indication of the momentum of the movement. Okay, so um, this is a 
what you have to retain from this line so far. Okay, let's pass the, to the other one that is um, a stronger one that is the, the green one that is called the, the key Sen, okay, or a standard line. Um, this line, uh, the basic of construction is the same that the, than the tin can, but this time instead of my nine periods, we are going to use uh, 26 periods. Okay, so as we saw before, um, we take a candle, a period. When I say periods, I, I am talking about candlestick, okay? It, in, it doesn't matter the, the frequencies. So uh, you take the, the, here in the, in the example, you take this candlestick, you count 26 periods before, and then you determine the maximum and the minimum point within this period, and then you get uh, the result, okay? It's, uh, it's easy. Maximum, different, uh, the, the, the addition between uh, the height is high, the low is low, divided by two, this is going to give you the key you set, okay? So this one represents a um, uh, larger support, larger support, um, a great rela reliability in the presence of uh, an equilibrium level. Uh, this is an essential point of uh, to, to, to start analysis and is which potentially are going to give you the entry points of uh, to a potential trade. Uh, actually is when uh, this potential trade means that um, when the, the price cross uh, by, uh, up or down uh, this line. Okay, so uh, this one as as um, because the period, the length of the period, uh, it corresponds to a kind of a fifty percent Fibonacci retracement level. Um, actually, this is one of the the benefits of this Ichimoku because it's is uh, kind of giving you uh, Fibonacci levels that but that uh, are. Um, how you say, interactive regarding price level. They are going to change uh, according to how it, it going, the, the price action, okay? So, um, the, you can see here there is a crossing between sometimes the Tenkan and the Kijun. This is not a big deal, doesn't represent any signal. You just keep in mind what is doing regarding the, the price regarding the, the Kijun, okay? Then, uh, here are the two lines that are in synchronicity with the price. And now let's go for the one that are formed what we call the, the cloud. Uh, that is or Kumo in Japanese, okay? So those who, as we see here, those are two projected lines in the future. Uh, you take the price, uh, what, what you do with the first one is the Senku Span A or SSA. Uh, it's a measure of balance. Uh, and it's calculated by taking the, the, the mean or the average between uh, the two previous ones that we saw, that is the Kijun and the Tenkan. So basically it's what we are doing here, as you can see, is if we start from this point, the same we count 26 periods uh, back and uh, we try to, well, we do the calculation, the average between these, and we project it from the taking, the, the, the starting date, 26 periods in the future. So it's going to, it's what is going to, to build the, um, the Senku Span A or the SSA. So if you see as a result here, you see that here, this line that is going over here, actually if we could cut it and put it here, it's going to be just in the middle of these two lines over here. Uh, so far, so good. Okay, well, uh, let's assume that everything is good. And this um, line is going to show you um, how, how you say the, the possible supports and resistance that the price will find in the future. Basically, is that. Then the other one that is coming is the SSB or Senkun Span B. 
okay, that is basically the same calculation, but this is a longer period. This is 52 periods, and also we projected uh, 26 periods in the future. And this one, uh, it shows you really um, strong, the strongest support and resistance that the price can't uh, find in the future. And then, as uh, we know that, um, you know how it's which one is the SSB, SSA, which one is the SSA. So the interaction be between these two lines are what is going to form uh, what we call the cloud. That is uh, these two lines here. Okay, the, this is space green here. Uh, so when the SSA, that is uh, this one, that is more reactive than the SSB, because uh, remember it's 26 periods, the SSB is 52, cross up, the, so we are talking that uh, bullish, bullish trend. Uh, when this one cross down, uh, it's down, it's, uh, the, 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 the cloud is going to be red, and so it's a bearish, uh, a bearish trend. The price, when the price is in the middle of the cloud here, uh, the price is a neutral tendency, and normally, it's not advised to trade in this uh, between uh, between this area. So the thickness of the cloud is important because it's going to represent uh, an, an obstacle more important, thicker. It's more difficult to, to cross the price. And um, there is also uh, the point, just the point when this SSB SSA cross the SSB is called twist, and this uh, is the the weakest point of the of the clown uh, is where the price uh, can pass uh, easier in, uh, in a trend change. Okay, and the last one I will show you. The last one is um, the last one is the Shinku span or lagging span that, as I told you before, is the memory of the market. Okay, this one as I to take the closing price, the current closing price, and uh, you projected uh, 26 periods back as it shows here. Okay, this is basically it's a, if you see the evolution of this line, basically is the price, the closing price, projected back 26 periods. Okay, so this one is um, uh, is going indicates the potential price movement that uh, it can achieve. Uh, it remembers the past obstacles re uh, representing the current price in the same past. And the breaking of the lagging span uh, with um, major lines like uh, Kim Jong and SSB will validate the movement initiated by the current price. And the potential of the movement of a trade or of the price, uh, it will be determined by the Fredo, according to the direction, uh, the evol of evolution of uh, this um, line, or if they, it presents uh, some absence or uh, the presence of some obstacles. Okay, so here is basically uh, the the basement of uh, the the fundamentals of what line it is. We are going to pass to uh, to the to a kind of methodology that I advise you to take note of it. Uh, to uh, when you can use um, it's a methodological approach that you can use once you you start to 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 watch the any chart uh, for a, for a currency chart uh, with Ichimoku. Okay, so um, let's let's start. With the methodology, okay. So in the analysis, we need to be aware. Uh, we need to be aware where the see where the price is based on the cloud and its orientation, okay. So uh, we need to determine the distance between the price and the support and resistance, okay. Because these ones, um, when I I am talking support and resistance, I am talking about the the Kijun or the SSB, okay. These are giving you your potential objective or your your potential stop loss in the in the train. And you, after that, you need to see where the lagging span is and what are the obstacles ahead. This is the part of analysis. So once you do this, you need to evaluate evaluate each line in, in its overall construction. 
okay so you start just looking as I told you here looking the price regarding the Tenkan crossing alert the, this is the crossing alert or line is a support or a resistance e, how is the price regarding the Kijun is a support is a resistance e, is in the way or is in the way or in the process of breaking it after that you see the price you see the price always as you can see you need to see the price how is the price relative to those of each lines um, that's why I present the, the lines in this order because we analyze actually in this order we see the price between the weakest one or the shortest one that is the Tenkan then we go to see the Kijun then we go to see the uh, SSA and SSB and then once we see the big panel of this one uh, we see the lagging span that is the, 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 the signal line if it confirms the price movement and which is the potential movement of the of the of the of the price okay so um, do you have any question uh, regarding this kind of methodology we are going to review that in a practical exercise but uh, I would like to know if everything is clear or if you need to know or clarify something about the construction or what uh, the each line represents You can write in the chat the window, so um, don't hesitate to write. It's okay for now. Okay, thank you, Paul. So let's pass. Um, I think this is it. Eh? Let's pass to have some practical exercise to analyze a currency. Now let me see here how to do sharing. Okay. Let's see. Okay, good. Now I just switch to the platform. Uh, I would like to know uh, if you know if you see you can see the um, you can see the um, MT4 platform. Yes, uh, we can see it perfectly. Okay, good. So um, what normally I do, I normally I use uh, these currencies to trade. I what what we are how, how how to approach the 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 analysis normally uh, as you can know you can choose between swing trading uh, intraday trading according to the opportunity okay so just a reminder a longer frequency this in the analysis defines you a global market situation a uh, lower frequency sharpens the evolution of potential uh, key points and a smaller frequency is a definition of a possible entry point so normally what I do uh, I prefer to do that uh, depends uh, of, of, of the uh, of the asset or the in Forex I normally would like to, I start to do it with uh, a four hours time frequency uh, and then I go down to one hour to establish what are the potential and where to go so uh, taking back the, the, the methodology, let's uh, analyze uh, a currency. Okay, normally uh, what I what I am looking for or what I try to look for it is to to see which is the position of the of the price regarding the Kijun. Okay, so um, any of you or Either I can propose you to, I mean, to take a randomly a currency pair, or any of you wants to analyze a specific currency pair uh, with Ichimoku. It's up to you. Paul, any suggestion? Okay, well, so far. So uh, let's try to to see. As you can see, I uh, here I, are, I have some currency pairs, and one possible interesting what what we are uh, we could look for is, for example, uh, what is the price? How is the price regarding the the Kijun? So so far in this chart, what it uh, as you can see, sometimes in this chart it can be late because those prices are crossing already the Kijun. But let's take an example of a, that is already done. 
for example, with a uh, destroy Australian dollar with uh, dollar New Zealandese. Okay, so all this, and uh, we are starting with a H4. Okay, so as you can see, uh, what potential uh, trading I, I what I am looking for. So either I see one change of trend or either a trend continuation, okay? So, as in the methodology we, I told you before, you see the price. Imagine that this part doesn't exist because uh, right here I, I, I don't know, I don't have any currency that can be uh, traded as a potential. I have another one uh, in a side, but let's start with this example, okay? So imagine that you are in this potential here and you can see that the Tenkan is going up, so it's approaching the Kijun. Okay, so um, this Kijun, this is can it can tell you a potential trade and what you will do. Okay, because what are you looking? You have any scenario. In this situation, you have two scenarios: either the price breaks up the Kijun and it's going to point the next resistance that is here. That is the this one is the SSB, or it just rebound and goes down. Okay. Why I do that? Why I say that? Because as I told you, you have different levels of uh, resistance and support. Here you will see that the price, because the cloud is uh, bearish, because the SSA crossed down the SSB, which is lower. Uh, what I see here is that here the price are have some rejections. So he is going to charge his next, see his closest resistance. His closest resistance is the Kijun. That you remember, the Kijun is uh, the midpoint of 26 uh, last last periods. Okay, so um, is what I see first. So this is what is going to validate me my 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 trade. Okay, so uh, once if I decide that this is going up because it's the objective, I will I need to see. Uh, what are my the next uh, the next uh, resistance? So I can see that is the SSA, and the next one is like the SSB. Okay. So remember, this is our level of resistance. And once I see the price, as I told you before, you see which is the the um, the, the, the 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 obstacles that will find the lagging span. So um, here, when I am looking for this for this price. I, the only thing that I can see for the lagging span uh, is that the is the tenkan is the weakest resistance. I mean, this is a kind of minimal obstacle. So that actually, if you see the line, this this tenkan, if uh, you prolong it, it's going to coincide with this kijun, that is the the green line. So if that it breaks the 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 level, so I can do an entry point of uh, of a half of the position. Remember, this is important when you trade and when you establish uh, the sites of your position. You don't establish the sites of your position by the potential financial uh, money that you want to get. Actually, you have to uh, establish the size of the position in function of your technical support and your technical resistance. And as a, a rule of thumb about uh, money management is that you have to have a risk reward ratio of two to one. Uh, that means that um, the potential loss or the potential gain should be the double of your potential loss. Okay. This is basically because you start from a probability of chance. I actually, you have the you have a 50% of uh, be right and 50% of be wrong. So if you keep a money management risk reward ratio of two to one, regardless if you are in the in the in the average. So that means that in the long term you can you could uh, earn uh, some some money. It, it, it's logical. It sounds logical, no? Everybody agrees. So, um, so that's why it's important. So, what I am doing here? So, I check here and see once this is break, what are my potential, my my next level? So, I see is the SSA. Uh, so, this can be my my potential resistance. But when I see the lagging span, the lagging span, the way of the lagging span is way uh, 
the distance it doesn't have any obstacles. So my next obstacle, I'm for sure, is going to be will be the thing the the key zoom that if I prolong it, it's going to be the same uh, the SSB. So this is a resistance, important resistance where, where to um, to take it into consideration. Okay. Uh, so like this, I can see once I, I establish in this point. Let's see in this point uh, what we are going to do. We see which is the overall market situation, and we just go up um, to a weekly to see where we are. Okay, just uh, we'll, I will change. I will just move some stuff like here. So it it's clear here that we are kind of a uh, range uh, in the weekly which some some uh, ref refusals or rebounds on the on the on this level okay so like this you can establish uh, you can we cannot have a swing position so long because actually what i am doing i will do a soon what i will do as soon. what are uh, what we are looking for what we see is that of course, here at the first glance, you see this is not an opportunity, but remember this is weekly. So we are talking about Forex. So actually a trade on Forex of 50 bits uh, is quite good, 80 bits, at, at least uh, for me in the medium, sh medium short term, after you go go for, for, for more. But as you can see, what uh, I, it, here is a rebound, and my next level of resistance is this one. So um, I'll, be, I'll be really aware of the size Oh, and the, my potential gain because uh, actually my potential gain can be stopped here in the in, in the long term. That is this level that is here. That is one four uh, one uh, zero four ninety nine. Okay, this is like my should be my kind of objective or, or of the trade. Okay, because as I told you, La Kijun is um, is a important resistant resistance. And it's it's always my my starting point. Okay, I can just enter here up uh, with the half of my sides of the position according to my money management. And then if this line is breaking, is broken, you can adjust the the second the second part of your the position in order to to purchase the next level that can be the next objective. That if I put it here. Next objective should be I would I, I would put it between this song here that actually um, so this is quite good because uh, in the long term it's going to pass from one sorry one, I mean the difference between one zero four ninety to one zero six uh, seventeen so we are talking about a uh, car around uh, two hundred pips okay and if we see the lagging span the lagging span is not giving any any uh, obstacles just the tenkan here so it's quite can be quite good in the of, uh, in the in the in the swing trading okay so this we have the overall situation okay this is kind of uh, you need to to remember that when you do an you are analyze analysis or trading is different because when you are trading, you you see, often you try to 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 take the most of the market. Okay, so if you see potential uh, winnings, you are going to take it if, if they are shorter, and then you adapt your <clears throat> your trade accordingly to it. Uh, but also there is a parting of a part of emotions that is different from the analyze uh, and ana the analyst. The analyst is going to be to see the market, the the chart. With a neutral point, and it's not going to 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 see, for example, in this trade as a potential trade. If I do, you see this this like an anal, anal, analyst, the analyst is going to tell you he's moving in range. There is not a uh, potential winning, but uh, with the help of Ichimoku, uh, when you change your 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 hat to to trader, you can see that you can trade this this position here because actually there are quite uh, there are quite good quantity of pips of it. So once established here, I go to a lower. Uh, I establish the general market situation. Then I go to I went to the 
the potential trade that let's see that it's going to be here. Uh, we can see that uh, if I was here, I was choosing to, to go to buy, uh, my objective will be this one here. That is the same level that we saw of the King Jong in the weekly. So um, it's uh, the charts are, are talking to you, and this is the interesting thing of, of Ichimoku because look, this line here, it's going to represent, uh, it represents the Kijun Jong in weekly, but in the frequency of four hours, it represents a level. There are several le levels of the um, of the SSB, as I told you, is uh, the, the, the the strongest uh, support or resistance. So if if I if we if we try to 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 draw some levels of uh, resistance, those are your levels of, of resistance, and then you establish which one which one is the more important according to the upper frequency. You can see <coughs> here that this one uh, when once he go he went up, okay. He went straight, and if it stopped here immediately to over this one, that is uh, the, the, the SSB, the first resistance. Then it passed, it remained, it re came back, and then he went to the to the possible what I would establish come on, what uh, the possible maximum uh, or, or my objective of the trade. And as I told you, if you decide <coughs> after this, he went up, he's correcting. And you have signs of that is coming up. Uh, the next level of resistance is going to be this one, and then you decide uh, what to do. So remember that when I was explaining at the beginning uh, about the tenkan, uh, that is the line, the red line, that is the shortest period line of nine periods. This is giving you the momentum of the of the movement. Okay, so the inclination is giving the momentum, and when it's uh, starting to flatten, that means that the, it's losing momentum. So this is a good, it's interesting because uh, as you can see here, you see when this uh, green candle, bullish candle still passed here, the tenkan was, uh, the slope was uh, really high, and it is start, it, uh, it's, you can see that the, the movement, the, the, the momentum of the movement is accelerating, just still here, so it's the the, the shark, the Ishimoku is talking by itself uh, about the about the potential trade. I don't know if you can see the what what I mean or if it's clear. Do you have any questions so far? I can see good Paul. So um, this is a, a good uh, trade. I mean, it's it's quite it's quite good because I I can see that is the position of Ishimoku in forex is uh, chirurgical. So it's a great tool. As you can see, I I, I have been establishing potential trades without even uh, using another indicator more than. Super, uh, I mean, more than super and resistance. And what I have been drawing here, the super and resistance, are given by Ichimoku. And this is just to uh, kind of guidelines. The only one, the, old, the other, no, the only one, I, won't, I would not say that, but the one that, um, one indicator that you can combine with Ichimoku is the RSI, is a relative strength index, uh, just to see, uh, to compare, to, to, to confirm entry um, exit points, uh, entry points in really short term uh, uh, trades. Okay, and this is going to see which, which kind, uh, if the movement is slowing down or is there is a divergence or a change of of trend. Okay, remember that the RSI tells you either the movement is slowing. Or change the direction. Okay, so it's just more, but more important is slowing down. So this is a potential change of direction. When there is, if there is a divergence, doesn't mean that uh, that uh, it's going to happen a uh, trend reversal. Not, it's not that at all. It's just telling you that the movement or the momentum of the acceleration of the movement is slowing down. So that's it. Okay, so. It's how you can combine these these two indicators, and then when you, you can establish your entry points, do you establish your goal? Going back to the part of trading, you affine, you refine with uh, go to a lower frequency, 
like uh, hourly. Okay, so I will I will do it here. So here, you, what you can see here is a um, let's do it here. What we can see here is basically these two lines. These two lines that you see here are the two lines that are drawing in the other in the other frequency. Okay. I don't know if you see, so you can see this line, this is the, the potential resistance and the next potential resistance. So when you enter here, you can see, you can, you can, as a trader, you see here, the, it cross, the, um, the, the price cross the, the Kijun, they pass a, if you see, remember, always, always the Tenkan, the, the lagging span is important. You see how the, the Tenkan here, the lagging span. It was working this level. This this movement here is you have two, two kind of resistance. You have the, the resistance that the price is looking here, facing here, that is SSA and SSB. Okay, basically this is the lever that we need to break. And the price needs to break. And uh, in the lagging span also, you see, so when you are positioning here, what you are thinking? So they cross what I will do, the price is found in, it, it's the next resistance is this one. This is a scenario that I cannot enter in a position yet, okay? Because when, uh, I don't know what, uh, what is going to happen. And then I look, the lagging span is the same, uh, it's having the, the same thing. It's working here, it's working between the, the key room. And then when I see, you have the same SSB, so it definitely, this level is a level that you need to wait that it breaks in order to enter in the position, okay? Uh, this is something important. Sometimes you can say there are, that it depends of what kind of trader, of, of trader you are. Uh, either you say, uh, look, um, the, 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 I, the, the, for sure the price are, it's going to search the resistance of the weekly, that is this one, okay? So I will take advantage, and here I, it's a, already a, a change of, uh, of direction of the Kijun, so I will enter in the rebound of here, and you take these points, or just you are sure that the, your lagging span close uh, and pass, and you enter. The, you enter in your position in the closing price of this, and then you do, you, you do your trading, okay? Depends of the, of the trader, okay? Uh, these kind of movements are difficult to, um, to, to forecast or to prevent because they are really, they are really fast. Uh, more than that, if the currency in that period is more volatile, so it's, it's a risk that somebody takes, some risk that nobody takes, okay? That, that depends because if you take the risk to enter here, of course, you, the volatility you are, is giving you this price immediately, but then you can see all the time that pass uh, working this level, okay? So uh, it's up to you. I mean, for me, for, for example, me, that I, uh, I have learned more than trend trading, for me, this is too long, and I w might not be interested to stay in this position so long. But the potential is telling me that this happened, but this is too much to wait for me, for example. But that depends, that depends. It's a potential opportunity. Uh, if there is nothing better in the market, you can do it, okay? So at the end, which is the objective was to, if you, as a trader, you decide, well, I don't care, I wait, I am sure, my, my scenario is validated, it's going up, it's going to, to search those levels, 1.049.90. Uh, I will just uh, win some bits, and um, actually it was quite, uh, not bad of it, this is a kind of, a, this is 1.02, imagine that we enter here, Let's see. Let's see how well, how much represents that. Imagine that we enter in the rebound some, something here, zero four twenty, and then I decide to okay, it's, it's testing the first resistance is four ninety. It's we are talking about seventy pips. So 
not bad. I mean, it's good for 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 for, for a trade that it lasts uh, one day. It's up to you, but on forex, I can tell you, you can if you like the risk, you can take more in a shorter period of time. But you remember, you need to 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 manage your stops uh, really close. And talking about the stops, um, what actually what I, I wanted to tell you, you need to to, to choose the the the, the stops, uh, the stop loss that we will invalidate your your trade. Okay. So if um, uh, a buyer here of this uh, this position, uh, what I will choose as a as, uh, as an invalidation of a, at, at this level of an invalidation of my stop, it will be some pips below this level of the key room that actually is this consolidate kind of consolidation level. So uh, this giving some space for the volatility to to I mean I am expecting that uh, the volatility is going to 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 retrace a little bit and then going up. So once you establish this stop or let's say this work is going to be to stop, establish your potential objective, okay, that is this one. So that means that you are entering here. You need to see that the distance between this part, your entry point, or and your potential gain, this distance should be at least the double of this one. Because to, in order to uh, establish um, a, a risk reward ratio two, two, uh, 2 to 1, okay? So here, evidently, it's, it's my money management is quite good because if you uh, see the distance from here for here, you, uh, the, from the entry point, let's say, to take the risk, or even here when you wait that it breaks the, the SSV, uh, this distance is more, is, is around the double of that one. Here in MT4, I don't know how to say, to do it to, to measure the, to measure the distance of uh, one point to another one, but it seems right. You know, if not, you do it. Uh, you do it uh, in the calculator. Okay. So, um, so far, so good. Uh, this is kind of an example of um, how to use Ishimoku. Uh, I remember you. The methodology that you need to use to 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 learn or what I use. This, it's it, that that's going to depend on on your trading strategy, the kind of trader that you um, that you are. Let's we start with a, a kind of a, how to say a highest frequency of period to establish the, the the potential the potential trades to see which is the what is that. And where, where, okay, here. To see where is the price, I mean, to analyze, see where the price is based on the cloud and the cloud orientation. Uh, determine the distance between the price and the and the supports and resistance. You see the distance between here and here, the distance between here and here, and the distance between here and here. Determine where the lagging span is and uh, what are the obstacles ahead, as we did it, you see. This is the, the only obstacle. The next obstacle is this one that this is level correspond to this level also, and then uh, you analyze the price with respect uh, to the Tenkan. Here, the Tenkan and the Kijun is uh, are the same level. Uh, your entry point is going to give you the crossing of the price of the of the Kijun, and you see the price relative to the cloud the approximation to the next line that is the SS, SS, SSB SSA or SSB that here. Uh, the, the first uh, resistance that is, uh, we are going to find it is SA that is prolonged is almost the same uh, than here, and this is this is like and then we see the lagging span if they confirm the the price movement. Okay, so <clears throat> you need to to it's a, it's a mechanism. Okay, so there are steps that you need to follow. Uh, in order to understand uh, or to, to determine potential trades. So um, you verify, and then when, once you have done that, you verify your hypothesis of trade or uh, looking at uh, different time frames. 
So you go up a longer frequency to define global market situation or, or potential uh, um, resistance, in this case, or, or supports. Uh, then you go to a lower, res uh, a lower frequency, that is in this case is hourly, to sharpen the evolution of potential key points, uh, entry points, and then here I, would need, I, didn't, I didn't win it's smaller than one hour, uh, you, you define your possible strategy, but this one was quite, in one hour was quite clear, I mean it, it, it was um, a, a good potential to say like this in a short term trade. Uh, so it's what you need to do. So the price, uh, to recap, uh, the price will depend on the SSB, the Ki then Kijun, then Tenkan, and then lagging span. Okay. So this is the the the, the resume of uh, of what to do when approaching Shimoku trading. So. Uh, I will let you some time to, if you, are, I mean, see if you want to to write any questions regarding this, or if you want to know any advice or, or whatever you want, uh, any commentary, uh, please feel free uh, to write in the chat window, please. So we're waiting for any questions that uh, any of you guys could could have, or there I think we have one. Yes, we have one. Do you have one? where is written the? I don't see the question. Oh no, it's not a question. Um, Paul is telling us that he will have to watch it uh, again uh, a few more times. Yeah. Yes, yes, because, uh, sorry to interrupt you Camilo, but yes, I understand Paul because at the beginning, at the beginning it can be, to the, to the eye, it can be shocking, there are five lines to understand and I can tell you that you are going to do it with the practice, whilst you have the practice and you understand uh, the key main points that I say, well, which one are giving you the, the what are the resistance and the supports and which one are giving you the entry points and the and the signal you, you you are going to understand that's why in the in the webinar I try to um, to break down my line and doing it by frequency so you have to keep in mind that the, the line that is built with the lowest frequency is the weakest one and it's going to stretching according to the quantity of periods that is used to, to its calculation. Okay, so, okay, so uh, I think that's going to be all for now. Um, do you have uh, anything more to add, uh, Augusto? Or uh, uh, the, the only thing that I, I, have, to, I, I, I have to add is that, oh, or just to propose actually, because um, this one is what was a really basic uh, webinar. Uh, it's more were, were more fundamentals, and it not so, it's not so in detail on detail the application. Okay, so it's just a proposition in the future to do a kind of more like starting on trading once the students have a better knowledge in in the concepts of uh, Ishimoku. To, to, to see how the, the advantage of this indicator as a whole indicator and toolbox. Okay, great. Then I think that's a good idea. We have to move for the future. Um, right now, we're going to uh, wrap this up. Uh, thanks a lot. It was an uh, excellent webinar. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to now launch a poll um, for the rating of the webinar. So thanks a lot everyone. Thanks um, uh, Augusto. And thanks to you. See you next time. See you next time Camilo. Thank you and uh, thank you to all of you to have come here. Have a nice day. <laughs>